It's impeccable. But enough about that. We have Silvio going up against Sinji. Oh, how I've waited for this day. I have not. What? 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 You've waited for this? This matchup is kind of gross. This, this matchup is actually really grimy for a lot of reasons. Ugh. Um... So Hero has a whole lot of tricks in this matchup, uh, and w there's actually two of them in play right now. Uh, the ability to boost is going to be really important for making sure the little bits of interactions where Hero does have the ability to win out matter as far as the damage is concerned. And then because of the plethora of things that Pac-Man introduces, you're going to see uh, bounce as a live option very frequently. And that's going to put a big hamper down onto Sinji's ability to comfortably control space, whether it's aggressively yep. or if he needs to bunker down and just play the fortress. Silvio has two amazing things going for him. Number one, maybe one of the best mid-range options in the game in the form of side B, being able to consistently call out Hydrant and especially Pac-Man hiding behind Hydrant is going to be a godsend. Number two, if Pac-Man decides to play slow, you can play back, get bounce and all those buffs, but none of that matters when... <laughs> yeah, yeah, bounce yeah. is very silly. Um, Although, that is one thing that we're going to have to see Sylvia be very proactive about, is doing something about Fire Hydrant. Because whether he can reflect the water back, he can oh reflect my. bonus fruit back, he can reflect a lot of things. Oh, oh God! There yeah, it no. is, baby. That ledge slip up B. Amazing stuff from Silvio just getting down there and found that kill. You gotta be ready for it. Sometimes it pops you up. If it hits you towards the stage, you gotta be ready to tech that. And Silvio still in a position to be able to ledge trap you. That setup is nasty, but now Sinji is gonna be a little bit more aware of it. See, the thing about Hero is that, like, he has ledge traps like that for days. You know how in the last set we were talking, no, uh, oh, two whoa, sets whoa, ago? Whoa, 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 whoa. We're fine, we're fine. Really good DI from Silvio gets him out of that nonsense. Look at those extensions. Yeah, Sinji's got those. <laughs> So you gotta hold that though. I bet that's so funny. That is so funny. I just love how the Hydro just boinks back up. I love it. <laughs> it's one of those items that just sort of like does a little hop before coming back down. Alright. So if he has to come back to a pretty nasty spot, Sinji trying to get a two frame, maybe by extending a hitbox there. Like the idea, is not going to be able to find it. And now Silvio. Oh man, that's Accelerator on deck, I believe. Yes. He's going to be zooming through the skies. Just catch a high recovery, love the commitment. Still in time to be able to ledge trap and a neutral air? Is that a forward air? That was forward air, I believe. Wow. Why are we dying in? Ooh! Such so that's that's, that's already two for two, right? That's how Sinji's been finding these stocks. Something that Sylvia's gonna have to be a little bit more, uh, take a little bit more note of. Respect, I don't respect the fact that uh, Sylvia tried to finish it all uh, with a with a thwack. I, I don't like that. I don't I appreciate don't, that. I don't think it was so much like, more willingness to finish it all at this early of a percentage, but I think just the fact that thwack has like such a large hitbox. So, you know, the, always the ability of knocking back the fire hydrant at such an unpredictable angle, because even though Sinji is incredibly well studied, and even though he has a very good idea of how majority of the moves in the, the cast will send yeah. the hydrant, I would be incredibly impressed if Sinji also is aware of how everything in Hero's Kid <gasps> interacts oh my! with him. Look at those follow-ups! Si Silvio has just been tracking Sinji from stage to stage already. Oh, and the percent just keeps on piling. That side B just catching Sinji all the way out there. Oh. Goes for another ledge slip up B. And Silvio takes it. That advantage was ridiculous. That following was amazing. He that got all started because Silvio got a Celerato at like just the right time. This entire string. I want to see this entire this. stock. I want to see this Forward whole stock again. Zapple. No sis, that's okay. We got swoosh and just uh. like that. I, w I wish we could see this whole stock from the beginning because it was just so well played for him, Silvio. His entire follow-up was so optimal. His, the way that he was also using tenacity to his advantage with the up B, up smash, everything about that stock was so cool. That was one of the hypest hero stocks I've ever seen. And I don't say that often. I have a very strong distaste for this character. Hero's messed up, but that was that was quite this pod is champ. One of, this is one of the matchups where you really get to see Hero in all of his glory. I'm going to put that one in air quotes for the non-believers. Yeah, I saw those but, air quotes, but yet to clarify through chat. Yeah. It's... <laughs> there's just so many tools for answering to so many situations. And Pac-Man is a matchup for Hero that really stresses that aspect. You have total responses to Bonus Fruit. You have total yep. responses to Hydrant. You have responses to Trampoline. You have responses to Power Pellet. You have responses for if this Pac-Man wants to go off with combos, 
You are super ready for if this Pac-Man is ready to camp. Look, Pac-Man is just playing back a little bit. Silvio ready, you know, just showing the rainbow right now with all the colors, but with no double jump off stage. Silvio maybe getting a little bit too antsy with the way that he's jumping back on. Sinji recognizes that Silvio is trying to exploit that Accelerattle. Right, by, by jumping back on, and he's recognizing that and punishing it quite a bit once again with those amazing upbeat follow ups. I, I love this ledge trapping from Silvio. Ooh, a good response with a Celerato. Let's just wait around. What do we got? You have to stall, and a good stall it is from Sinji, unfortunately. <laughs> he hunts him down with down air, gets it, and then falls into the last portion of the trampoline. Oh, such a heavy commitment all Even then, Sylvia would have just died. Because no MP, that would have been no up, but you just, you just kind of suffered. You would have had to, like, top deck zoom at, like, perfect reaction. Yeah. Which, I don't know. The, the odds are there, but not favorable regardless. It brings us to an even game. And, like, look at how much Sinji has to alter his game plan. Because Hydrant is helping Sylvia far more than it's helping him. Yeah. And like you mentioned, Zap and Zapple are just such good options for being able to harass Pac-Man with very little look, commitment. Look how, look how fast Silvio is, too, just zooming through the skies again. That's the consequence. If you allow Hugo to camp maybe a little bit too much, Up Smash, not going to be able to do it quite yet, but the next Belkin Flume will definitely do it. So it's you imperative. Mean that one? Yes, yep. you do. That's how Sinji keeps finding him. Silvio, I believe at highly presents, I would like to see him try to go pull a couple more bounces, but, you know, just have more RNG. <laughs> Just do better. Oh my. And S Sinji's boxing options are so good too. Sylvia loved the fact that he respected that. Punish the next option rather than immediately trying to punish a dash attack on shield. Thwack, not gonna happen quite yet. What's the follow up? Sinji just waits, tries to charge up food. Maybe. Why? <laughs> Why? Why are we doing that, Sinji? What's. Uh, you know, there is merit to it at this kind of a percentage, realistically. Galaga is not doing much for Silvio as it would for Sinji, and so like he's getting a read on how uh, Silvio wants to respond in a situation like that. I like, think he just forgot. <laughs> I, I don't know if Silvio is giving him the opportunity forget, uh, to forget how Bounce works. Have you seen how much stuff has been proccing Bounce this set? Yeah, it's 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 just been it's just been stopping Sinji so much. Like that in his tracks, but now this is the struggle. You have n little to no MP on deck. You don't have a lot of stuff to mess around with. You don't get to really charge up, you know, all those buffs for yourself. <gasps> oh my. Are we gonna do it again? You, S S Silvio can't risk another offstage scenario. That's, that's it, they're done. Yep, when you run out of MP, you run out of the ability to go for recovery mix-ups. Granted, in that situation, you know what Silvio could have done? Try to roll for Zoom. I was just about to say, he could have opted for like falling out and then Zoom back to stage, yeah. which in itself is a fairly large gamble. But given the odds of, ha of a patient Sinji at the ledge with full resources, yeah. your odds look much better to just actually like yeah. hope for the best with Zoom. Choosing to go for up either, just maybe a slight mismanagement of resources. Silvio taking a step back, trying to breathe in a little bit. I really like how they're treating this matchup, but maybe just needs to be a little bit more conservative with that MP usage. It ultimately turned out to be the death of them. Oh god, all of that damage just from Sizzle hitting the uh, fire hydrant. Now in a situation where Pac-Man just gonna, okay. A bit of aggressive return to uh, stage, although that kind of reflects how the rest of the set has been going, where the zoning, the tr space control, just general trap play from, okay, the, the Melon, at the bravest of soldiers, apparently. <gasps> oh, Silvio going so far out, they're still gonna be able to make it back onto the stage. And Senji's like low percent follow-ups, always so solid. Forwarders and downers and neutralers galore to be able to finish. Yeah, what um, I wanted to bring up is the fact that consistently Sinji's boxing options have been really solid. The close range game is what's really making this set for Sinji. His shields have also been impeccable. He's been catching every single one of Silvio's poor aggressive landings, especially with unsafe aerials, and also catching a lot of the projectiles that Silvio has been throwing out. And now we're seeing the adaptation from Silvio running up with such a confident grab. Oh my, oh no. So you just sort of flopping there. Love the use of <gasps> That was perfect spacing for the bell, intentional or not, that was sick. <laughs> that could have gone south so quickly. I'm gl glad for Silvio that it did not. And now Silvio needs to find a way to get back How onto the stage. Get that? Press the button, not entirely sure which one. And now we're seeing Silvio opt to go for... Yeah. Yeah? Yeah, that happens sometimes. All right. <laughs> <laughs> 
Listen, oh. man, there's a, there's a reason why in every single horror movie, like, all, all of the villains just end up walking towards you really slowly and menacing, because it's terrifying. Oh, ooh. ooh, why did that send like that? I believe it's because uh, Sinji was on, like, the left side of it. Um, definitely some sort of trigonometry coming into play. Yeah, yeah, show me this one, math wizard. <laughs> Sylvia tracking Sinji offstage, tries to get the up B into a uh, back here follow-up. That time, Sinji actually armoring through up B. That's the best counterplay uh, to that kind of edge guard. Sylvia's fishing. Yeah, Sinji has to be a bit more careful with these dash attacks, though. This time, almost meeting Lush, and we've seen how solid Sylvia's reactions are to trying to find the up smash follow-up on plats with that. Well, this is so dangerous for Silvio, but getting Accelerado is going to be the death of them. Shooting in a little bit too far ends up falling into whatever Sinji just had cooking up uh, in the kitchen. That side B, though, so big. Something that Sinji just needs to be ever so mindful of. Silvio, this time, not going to commit to any of those ledge slip up Bs and just catching a bad ledge option. Yeah, he didn't really have the mana to fool around with. He just had to commit to those yeah. slow normals, but those normals, be they small, are very rewarding for the ledge. Accelerado is so clutch for Silvio. He was able to cross up Sinji from the other side of the stage. His air speed is phenomenal. You think that's clutch? Check out how Zap and Zapple have been able to just completely pick Sinji off out of the sky multiple times this set. Oh, is Silvio pressing in a little bit too far. He's going to be dropping all of that tempo that he had for himself, but now has amassed quite a lead. But that is Sinji with Galaxian. You do not mess with Sinji that with Galaxian. That was the most important Galaxian in Sinji's career. That interrupted an oomph boosted forward air off that side of the stage would have been curtains at these percentages. This bounce is so clutch for Silvio right now. This is going to just completely put... Um, it's, it's going to make a lot of Sinji's play right now so different. But Psycho back air will kill, I believe. I don't think forward air will move back air, I think, does. Silvio is just trying to pressure this full hops, make Sinji scared. So now the question is, he's done this conditioning. What's going to be the follow-up? He's going... No! Re-grab of the bell makes for a very dire situation for Silvio. He still has his psych up until he lands a hit. <gasps> but just like that! Oh, and he almost <laughs> finds his up tilt! <gasps> So dangerous, Silvio actually getting Sinji back onto the stage before he does. This is such a nasty position to be in. Sinji keeps on trying to press these safe aerials and hero shield. No out of shield options. Yeah, no, no jab. <gasps> no! Once again, but Sinji's not prepared this time. And that's the play, but that is the only counter play that you can get. It's the immediate directional air dodge from the trampoline. Silvio knows that situation. This is anybody's game. Oh, oh, excellent back only there from spot. That wasn't the strong hit. Oh. No <laughs> back airs that time. Oh, high Woo! tension situation. You've got the match charge. So neutral B. Silvio did it. I'm so happy for him. He did it. Oh, my oh, God. Don't that need RNG when you got reactions like oh those. Oh, my God. That's just tough. That's just difficult. He I, was I, holding on to that. He actually whiffed casting uh, it a little oh. bit before the situation, too. He didn't have enough mana. Hitting back air on shield, I think, gave him enough mana to oh, cast no. that. Sinji dropped his shield. I'm going to look at that one more time. Let's, uh, wh wh why did Sinji die? All right. Okay. okay. Yeah, he Hold dropped on. shield. He dropped shield before the uh, the first hit of the uh, the fireball. So, so let's take a look. Right? There's a fireball. I guess he tried to parry it? What's happening here? What's going on here? Is this, a, is this the drop shield animation? What? 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 So. We Yo, gotta do something. You see Pac-Man's face? Listen. Look my, at his my head. Dude, my is dude is it? doing a whole concern. <laughs> That's actually just Pac-Man not like this. Uh. <laughs> Oh, that's tough. That's tough. Why did this happen? I, did he drop shield? Yeah, right. That's that's the animation for somebody dropping shield. So now the question is, why didn't he get a parry? He jumped? No, he didn't. He didn't jump. That's not a jump. He he tries to he tries to shield here. That's a shield animation. I think I don't. I don't. Yeah. That's just difficult. That's the that's the only thing he could have yeah. done. I, yeah. Okay. Well, there was a reason I was excited for that matchup. Yeah, I was so happy. Solid matchup. I actually really like Silvio's my boy. I was so happy to see him succeed. Did you?